Oil palm fruit thrives in the subtropical climate of Indonesia. It's still harvested like it was 100 years ago, but nowadays the oil is no longer just used for frying. Palm oil has become a primary vegetable energy resource. An indispensable ingredient of biodiesel, it's harvested all year long in tropical rainforests. The fruit is processed in palm oil mills. We're here at the Tasma Puja mill, which has state-of-the-art equipment. New technology from Germany is reducing the dangerous methane emissions. Indonesian engineer Navendo Baldona helped install the equipment. We're doing something for the environment. We can't eradicate emissions, but we have reduced quite a lot. You can still detect the rotting smell of methane in the air. There are more than 400 palm oil mills in Indonesia, but only nine of them are using this new technology. First, the oil palm fruit is boiled as usual to separate the fruit. Depending on its weight, one oil palm fruit can produce between two and five liters of oil. Prices are on the rise. One ton of palm oil costs approximately 800 euros on the global market. These fibers are what's left after the pressing. Until recently, they were considered garbage, but now they're used for heating. The residual toxic sludge used to be just dumped outdoors. Thanks to the new process, this new technology, we only have two things, oil and wastewater. But the wastewater is an important element for composting. In the German facility, the decoction is filtered out from the water. Baldona explains the complicated process to the mill owner. Sanitized wastewater and plant pulp are what remain. It's like caramel, but it's important for the composting. The pulp is later mixed with the empty fruit husks. We, uh, as we can see there that we are not piling the, the waste because the piling the waste is creating the methane. We are always uh, distributing the waste daily to the composting field. That's why this is the, the important part of making the compost. The foul smelling mixture of fibers and methane decoction is simply dumped by other mills. At Tasma Puja, the smelly sludge is turned into high grade fertilizer. It earns the mill owner an extra 30,000 euros a month, and the amount of wastewater is greatly reduced by composting. Whatever is left over is easily purified. Tasma Puja doesn't send any sewage into the river. The water is reused, and those two large ponds over there are pure, clean water. Ultimately, the clean water is redirected into the river. The Indonesians are quite proud of their achievement and insist on showing us how it's done. But getting there turns out to be an extremely difficult challenge in the monsoon season. With the rain thundering down every few hours, roads are all but impassable and the quality of the river water can only be guessed at.